I want to show a much better power consumption optimization on the Ryzen 3900X. I'm running four, four of them right here doing Monero mining. And I've optimized on CPU voltage and also memory speed. So you'd actually get about 12,100 hash rate on each processor. So 49,000, you know, almost 49,000 hash rate, random X for the whole mining rig. Right here. And a couple things. I'll list all the instructions in the description. The uh, Ryzen Master doesn't work with the lower voltages. So I'm using CPU ID hardware monitor. And it shows I set my core voltage at 1.1 volts. It shows the cores running close to 1.1, you know, close to the setting. And then my CPU, I'm actually 10 degrees cooler now. And this is just doing random R, because Monero hasn't switched over yet. They will switch shortly. But I'm getting a hash rate, 15, 6, uh, 1561 hash, you know, max, and uh, on each CPU, and everything is times four for this uh, rig. So uh, hardware monitor seems to be much better than the Ryzen Master. And all the settings are in the BIOS, which I show. First, you reset your BIOS board with your button. Well, first you do your hardware, up, your um, BIOS firmware update, because it won't even work with the CPU until you have the good firmware. Then you do your hard reset to clear out your BIOS memory. And then it's basically a couple uh, passes of setup on the BIOS for the motherboard. First you do the easy tuning wizard, and I just do it for office computer and uh, just internet browsing, not gaming. And that just sets it kind of mild. I don't want to, I'm not trying to push these things uh, that hard because I get 12,000 hash, you know, running pretty cool uh, CPU. And next, this is the really important part. Well, first you got to reboot after you run the easy tuning wizard. Then you go and you got to set your CPU core voltage to 1.1, which I show that. And then on memory, you can go ahead and set up the overclock uh, memory. AMD calls it DOCP. And then I show the instructions there. You just set it up DOCP standard. It'll set all your timings. And it'll also set your frequency. And I list in the de parts description which memory to use. It's actually a pretty cheap memory. It's interesting here. I actually got some high dollar. I got some 16 cache. 3600 or 16 CAS that is 3600 memory there that's like double the price but it, uh, it doesn't actually do much better and hash rate 1561 compared to 1560 I mean I can't notice much difference on that uh, the higher yeah, expensive memory, uh, even on the random X. So let's look at our power here. Now it just runs 144 watts, as you can see there, and that's just for one board, so everything is times four. And random X takes that up to 200 watts. Now, they probably got about 70 watts is for the board and the power supply, so the processor itself doing about 130 on random X. And at 130 watts, the stock cooler keeps the thing really cool. So I'll do a demo here and uh, to show what we get. So we're on gonna do board number three. Actually, let's do the one that's plugged in. That'll be number two. So I'll close my miner. I'm just going to run benchmark and I'm going to run it for So the first part it initializes your memory 1.81 that's only possible running 
the 1800 megahertz, which is the 3600 because it divides by two, the actual memory rating. And then we look at our power, 202 watts. This is gonna take a while, I got it running too many zeros. Let me restart that. Don't need to run it that long. Just 160,000. There's the parameter if you wanna see. So the memory initializes pretty darn fast, 1.81 seconds. If your clock speed is set low, that time goes up and then your hash rate goes down. So there you can see you're getting 12,102 hash per second. So getting a decent hash rate on it. So that's the setup. I'll have it all in the description. Hope you like watching the video. Thanks for watching.